I am Anil Kumar and we are exploring roots of quadratic function. Here the question is, determine the value of k for which the function f of x equals to x square minus kx plus k plus 8 has only one x intercept. So we are given the function f of x equals to x square minus kx plus k plus 8 and what we want is 1 x intercept that is what we want so how can we do it well since we need only one x intercept that means b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0 correct so that's the whole idea now we are given this quadratic equation what is a what is b and what is c in this equation let's figure that out now from the equation you can say a is the coefficient of x square so we can say a is equals to 1 how about b? b is coefficient of x, so b is equals to minus k. How about c? Now c is the constant term, and in this case the constant term will be k plus 8. Do you see that? So k plus 8 becomes the constant, right? Now we can apply the formula b square minus 4ac, and then see which value of k can give us a 0. So that's the strategy. So applying b square minus 4ac, b is minus k, so we'll write minus k square, that is b square, minus 4 times a is 1, and c is k plus 8, right? k plus 8, that should be equal to 0, right? So what we did at this stage is, we are checking for b square minus 4ac equals to 0, right? So b is minus k. 4 times a and c, a is 1, c is k plus 8, okay? So that is what we are doing. Now let's expand. So minus k square is k square minus 4 times k minus 32 equals to 0. So we get an equation in, in k, right? So that's a quadratic equation in k. Now when is it 0? So you could apply now the quadratic formula or you could factor, correct? So 32, <coughs> so, so we can actually factor this. So at this stage, what we can do is, we can either factor or apply quadratic formula to find the value of k, which can satisfy this equation. So let's factor. To factor, we are looking for two numbers, let's say p and q whose product should be minus 32. And when you add these numbers, what should you get? You should get minus 4. Now, what are these numbers? 8 times 4 is 32. We could take minus 8 and plus 4. Since on addition, we need negative answer, right? So minus 8 and 4. So we could write this as k minus 8 times k plus 4 equals to 0. So clearly, we get two values of k for which this equation will have only one x-intercept. Do you get? So one value of k is a, that will make this part 0. The other value of k is minus 4, which will make the other factor 0. So these are the two values which will give us one x-intercept. And therefore, our answer is k equals to minus 4 or 8, right? So we could also write, sometimes we'll write, prefer to write answer as minus 4 and 8, right? So these are the two values for k, which will give us x-intercept, just 1, right? Now, as an additional exercise for you, question for you is, uh, write us find k in the same, we have already done the work for you, find k for two real roots, right? So that is what you can figure out and uh, uh, put it in the comments if there is a difficulty let me know i also provided you with a link which will take you to a similar question for practice i hope that helps thank you and all the best